So let's do a Snell's Law problem. So in this problem we say a ray of light is incident on a block of crown glass at an angle of 31 degrees and what is the angle of refraction? Pretty straight up standard Snell's Law problem. To start off, let's just draw it. So we remind ourselves what we're talking about. It does not say what the incident um, medium is. In other words, what the medium is that the ray of light is progressing through. So we assume it is air. If nobody says, assume air. And that would be 1.00 for a refractive index. And crown glass, the crown glass is 1.52 for a refractive index. Okay, so, and we could just sketch in the angles here. There is our normal. And all angles are measured with respect to the normal. So, of course, a 45 degree line would be something like that. Just bisect it. So 31 degrees. This seems probably about correct for 31 degrees, and ballpark is all we need. So this is theta i, or the angle of incidence here. And we want to know what the angle of refraction is. So let's start off with the Jeep story so we can make a prediction here. Here's a tire. Here's a tire. This tire is in the faster medium, the optical pavement, as it were, and will rotate down so the angle we can predict will get closer to the normal. So our theta r is going to get closer to the normal. So we have an idea of what it should be. Now we can set up our givens. And we have n1 equals 1.00. And theta 1, or theta i, equals 31 degrees. We know our n2 is equal to 1.52. And our theta r is the angle that we are seeking. So the formula, of course, Snell's law formula, n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine of theta 2. Rearrange that. So to get the sine of theta 2, we take all this and just divide it by n2. Rewriting. we have sine of theta 2. Now remember, this is not the angle. This is the sine of the angle. So to find that, we're going to have to take the inverse sine on the calculator. But that all equals n1 sine theta 1 over n2. So let's go ahead and put the numbers in here. That's 1.00 times the sine of 31 degrees divided by 1.52. So you can see this is really quite a simple problem. Let's do it on the calculator. See what we get here. We have 31, take the sign, divided by 1.52. That equals a number that obviously, this obviously, 0.338, there's no way that's going to be what the degrees are. And we are reminded that that is not the degree. That's the sine of it. So take the inverse sine. And sure enough, 19.8, that sounds a lot like what we would assume to be a correct answer. So this all equals uh, 19.8 degrees. And that's good enough there. All right, so that's a quick Snell's Law problem. Nice and simple, and uh, there's not a lot to them. Um, obviously, the big problem here, there's no squares or anything, but the big problem would be making sure you are anticipating what the angle is going to be and not getting fooled into thinking that tiny little number, um, which is the sign of the angle you're looking for, is the angle. So you have to take the inverse sign. That's all there is to it. Thank you.